What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and with the public release of iOS 10 coming up later this year, here's what you can expect from some of the best features Apple's serving up. First up, the lock screen has been changed a bit. Instead of the classic slide to unlock, we now have press home to open. Now there's also a new section to the left of the lock screen, which will allow you to easily add widgets for quick access to compatible apps. And to the right of the lock screen, you can quickly swipe to launch the camera app, and all of these are pretty helpful additions. Next up, we're looking at Control Center, which has a bit of a different look than before. It's been cleaned up a lot and better organized in my opinion, and one cool thing here is that you can now 3D touch on any of the icons along the bottom end and select from different options. For example, you can select the intensity level of the flashlight or different camera capture options to make things a bit easier. Also with Control Center, you'll notice that the music controls are gone, but they have been relocated to their own little section located to the left, and with a nice layout and the ability to change output sources here, I think it's a much welcome change. Moving along here, we're taking a look at the Messages app and there's a lot to see here. There's a slightly different design going on, but all of that comes with new features. First off, if you're into sharing videos, you can now do so in line. They'll play right in the Messages window and you can expand them with 3D Touch if needed. Now taking cues from Apple Watch, iOS 10 now includes digital touch, and if you're not familiar with it, it'll allow you to send things like heartbeat messages, which is cool and all, but also have the ability to draw little pictures and send them off using different colors and even draw on photos to send them off as well. It's all pretty cool. There's also a new iMessage apps section, which is one of my favorites here that will allow for third party app integration, and you can do cool things like send different stickers, you can search for images or videos, and there's even Apple Music integration to an extent here. And whatever else developers come up with. Along with that, there are some pretty cool ways to send messages. So if you 3D touch on the blue send button, you'll be presented with options to send messages with a variety of different effects that will make the messages either pop or come across lightly. And you can even send secret messages using Apple's new invisible ink feature that will allow you to send a message that's kind of hidden and will be revealed by the other person when it's delivered. It gives you a more private way to chat though. And along with that, you can send those messages with cool animated backgrounds as well. Like I said, there's a lot new in messages, so if you wanna see a full video on that, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Another new feature in iOS 10 that you might not know about is that we finally have the ability to hide those stock Apple apps that you never use. And it's very simple and painless, but I've made a separate video on this, and if you wanna watch that, I will leave it linked below for you, or you can hit the annotation on the screen. This year, Apple decided to step up its HomeKit game and bring along a new Home app that puts all of your compatible smart home devices in one place. So no more need for a separate app and it's very useful here. You can set up different scenes, add new rooms, and even automation. It's all a great concept and I'm excited to see more of the home app in the future. Now one of the coolest features for me happens to be the notification changes. They've obviously been redesigned a bit and have a much cleaner look, but along with that, we have a pretty neat feature here. So if you 3D touch on a notification, you'll get a very rich and interactive way to respond to things like messages and other alerts. Now it's nothing super special, but doing this just from the lock screen is an excellent way to take care of things right away instead of needing to unlock the device and open the app and things like that. It's very cool and it can happen from the notification center or from the lock screen directly. Now in addition to all of those new features, we have some redesigns as well. And here are a couple of my favorites. So the music app has been completely revamped. It kind of has some sort of Windows Phone inspired thing going on here, but it's clean nonetheless. And it will also include the ability to see lyrics for all of your tracks, but mostly just a redesign here. One other app that has been rethought with similar aesthetics is the News app. So love it or hate it, it has the same look and feel as the Music app, but there's really not much else to see here. Now before I get out of here today, I wanted to talk to you about some tech upgrades for your body. So here's the deal, everyone is looking for a convenient and healthy alternative to fast food, right? Well, if you haven't heard of Soylent, this is essentially a complete meal in a bottle. It was designed to be a simpler food source, it's affordable, and packs maximum nutrition with minimal effort. It's recognized by the FDA as a food, and it's pretty filling too. And each bottle packs just 400 calories and contains 20% of your daily nutritional needs, and it's pretty tasty as well. 
kind of reminds me of Cheerios slightly, in a good way, it's that good. But if you'd like to give Soylent a shot for yourself, I highly recommend clicking the link in the description or visiting Soylent.com slash DomTech for 50% off your first box. And with that, they'll also make a donation of four meals to World Food Program USA. So it's a win-win situation. Like I said, these are some of the best features that iOS 10 has to offer, but there are plenty more to discover. And my buddy Jeff Benjamin over at 9to5Mac put together a pretty awesome video with 75 of them. So if you want to see more iOS 10 goodness, hit that link in the description. But let me know what you think about iOS 10 and what your favorite new feature is. Drop a comment below, leave this video a like, and subscribe for more like it in the future. Thank you very much for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.